Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through WhatsApp verification code not received time limit problem. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. I'm going to walk you through first what to do if you're not receiving the code, um, a couple of settings to check on your phone, and then walk you through a way around that time limit problem. Now first, if I'm trying to log into my WhatsApp, I have it on right now, but say I'm trying to log in and I'm trying to get that verification code because I forgot a password, the first thing you want to do is to make sure that our Do Not Disturb is not on. So if I swipe down from the top to the bottom, I bring up this menu and over here it has the half moon or just the moon and if that is lit up that means it is on and you want to make sure that's turned off because that would redirect any kind of text messages um, away to a do not disturb mode so you won't receive them. Now if I get out of that and that is off, the next thing you want to check is your settings. So if I go to settings, get out of there. Once we're in settings go down to messages. Here's your message control settings. So we're just gonna make sure a couple of these are accurate and then reset one of them. So the first one is iMessage. Right now, if we just toggle it off and then toggle it back on, it's gonna reset. We want that toggled on because that's how you're gonna receive messages. And right now you can see it says waiting for activation. It was reset in the system. The next thing you wanna do is check to make sure we have send as SMS on right here. And that is to get messages, um, SMS messages when iMessage isn't available. And we definitely want that just in case that's how we're getting those messages from WhatsApp. The next thing we want to check is to make sure that filtered unknown senders is off. Basically, it will sort through any people who aren't in your contacts and separate them. And you don't want that to happen because these people, um, you know, not these people, but uh, the different uh, social media websites like the WhatsApp when you're trying to get that verification code, if that is on, then you're not going to receive it. So once that's all done, then you should be able to just get that WhatsApp verification code and go back and try to get that code again. Say we have a time code problem. Once you've tried to, you know, reset your your verification code and you get it wrong, it keeps pushing back this time frame. So the first thing you want to do is that you want to do the call me option right after you've, if it messes up one time, go ahead and do the call me option because the more times you mess up, the longer that time is going to be. Now, say you don't have that option or, you know, you really want to do it through the SMS. The way around this five hour um, wait is to reset your phone or trick your phone into thinking that it's been the five hours. So if I get this message saying five hours, I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to go into my settings. We're in settings. I'm going to go to general. I'm going to go to date and time. And right now it's, well, mine is usually set to automatic. We're going to turn that off. I'm going to click on that time. And at the bottom, it says it's 1028. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change it to five hours from now. So either I can just push PM. So it's pretended and now it's 1030 at night, my phone thinks, and I can get out of there. And now it went from the five hours to minute and 38 seconds left. So I can either just wait that minute and 38 seconds, you know, trick tricked my phone into thinking it's been the five hours or like I suggest is doing the call me option that will call you and give you the code and you can type it straight in so there's no problem waiting for that text message to come in or you know if it, the text message is still not working because maybe a phone number error you will know then if you guys have any questions on that let us know in the comments below if not don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe